I remember my dad bought this car that cost a hundred dollars. It was the worst car in the world. It couldn't even start on its own, so we'd have to roll it down the hill every time we wanted it to start. And if I'd gone up to him and I had said, "Dad, are you going to buy a Ferrari?" Uh, he would have looked at me. He would he would have probably laughed, and he would have thought, "You know, is my kid going crazy? That's a Ferrari is impossible for us. That's not for us. That's for someone else." Now here's the thing. For something to be reality for you, you have to be able to experience it. Okay, but the problem is, if you have a hundred dollars in your pocket, how are you going to experience a Ferrari? The subconscious mind cannot tell the difference between actual experience and imagination. So, if you actually imagine a bad time in your life when something bad was happening, you'll start to feel bad as if it were happening to you right now. If you think of a good time in your life, you'll start to feel good as if something good was happening to you right now. So I remember I was about seven or eight years old, and I hated school. I just hated going to school. And the reason for that was because my parents couldn't afford to buy me, you know, the books and the notebooks that I needed. And one day I remember going to school, and I don't have anything on my desk, and I'm trying to cover it up with my little hands. And the teacher noticed it, and she came over. She looks at my desk, and she says, "Where are your books?" And I stood up, and I didn't really know what to say. You know, everyone's looking at me. I'm not going to go. Well, it's because my parents can't afford to buy me a book. And she grabbed me by my hair, and she said, "Look at you. You can't even bring books to class. You're worthless. You're always going to be worthless, and you're never going to achieve." Anything in your life, and you know, at the time, one of the biggest things that everyone wanted to do was to come to the United States. But it was really, really hard. No one got to come. So I go back home, and every single day, I would sit there and imagine myself just walking around, you know, in the U.S. Just and at the time I only knew about the White House, so that's all I could imagine. I just imagined myself walking in front of the White House, and it was like reality to me. I could see myself doing it. Now, fast forward a few years later, now I just graduated from one of the best schools here, and I've walked in front of the White House many, many times. But the reason I tell you that is because chances are you've had someone like my teacher in your life. And unfortunately, most of the time, it's actually going to be your parents who've done the same thing to you. And you know, Maxwell Maltz talks about hypnosis. It's like all of us have been hypnotized. He says, even if you take the world's strongest man, you can hypnotize him into thinking that he can't even pick up a five-pound dumbbell, and he won't be able to. And it's up to us to take that hypnosis and re-hypnotize ourselves. Now, here's the thing. I'm not doing this. You know. Just imagine, and whatever you imagine, it'll happen. That's bullshit. It's like you imagine it, and then you do the ten other things that you have to do to actually get what you want. But the one thing I will guarantee you is that if you can't even imagine it, and most people can't even imagine it, you're not going to have it. Just just a few months ago, when I decided to make this channel, you know, I told my friends, "Hey, I'm going to have a hundred thousand people." Watching my stuff, and they're going to be interested in what I have to say. Most of them said, you know, good luck or whatever. But no one actually thought that that would ever be reality. No one actually believed that. And even myself, if I had looked at, you know, the, at YouTube and all the people who do self development at the self development quote unquote niche, it's like who's the average guy who's successful? It's like a guy in his 30s who's also a millionaire. And I could have told myself, yeah.、Um, You know,、um, at the time I was 21. I'm 21 years old, and I don't have the experience. I don't have the resources. How am I ever going to do this? But even when I had zero subscribers, it's like I could see myself in a position where a hundred thousand people want to hear what I have to say. It was like you know playing that movie in my head every single day. I didn't have a problem seeing myself in that. Every day I would imagine, okay. Uh, I have a hundred thousand people. What am I doing now? It's like I'm talking about this. I'm talking about that. I could actually see myself there, and you know, just a couple of days ago, one of my friends calls me and he says, "Dude, your channel just has just got fifteen thousand subscribers. When when did all of this happen?" And it's like, hopefully, I don't die and you stick around long enough to actually see that happen. But I never had a problem imagining myself being there. 
Even if, you know, my friends thought it was impossible, even if myself, for a second I thought, you know, this doesn't really seem possible. It's like, when I played that movie in my head, I could see myself there. I could see what I was doing when I'm there. Now, here's the really important part about your imagination. When you're imagining it, you're not thinking, what do I have to do to get there? Okay, that's a good question, and there's a different time for that. When you're imagining it, you actually see yourself there. You're already there. That reinforces that that's actually reality. Now, again, this isn't some esoteric bullshit, okay? If it was, I wouldn't be putting it on my channel. It's like, you imagine it, and then you do all the other things that you have to do to get there. But, the one thing I will guarantee you is that if you can't even imagine it, and most people can't imagine it, if you go up to your friend right now and you say, hey, are you going to buy a Ferrari at some point? They're just going to laugh. And it's like, buying a Ferrari isn't even like the pinnacle of success. <laughs> like, that's not the peak of what you can do with your life. But, like, they can't even imagine themselves having a Ferrari at some point in their life. And, you know, I'll guarantee you that if you can't even imagine it, just like most people, you're never going to have it.